if you are visiting Columbus or as a transplant to Columbus and you come here for work, mm -hmm. uh, you're often enraged by Columbus style pizza. Hello and welcome to See You Live. I'm Susan Post, Associate Editor of Columbus Underground, and I have with me Jim Ellison, local food writer and blogger, and the man who probably knows more about pizza than anyone in Columbus. Um, he just wrapped up writing a book about pizza, uh, Columbus Pizza, A Slice of History, um, so definitely check that out when it comes out. But today we are going to talk about a perhaps controversial topic. It is. Does Columbus have a signature style of pizza? Um, so, you know, I say New York or Chicago or even Detroit, people know what I'm talking about right. when, it, when it comes to pizza. Um, but what about Columbus style? How, yeah. how would you describe that? If you that? live in Columbus, you probably believe that there is a Columbus style. Yeah. If you are visiting Columbus or as a transplant to Columbus and you come here for work, mm -hmm. uh, you're often enraged by Columbus style pizza because it's the antithesis of what a lot of folks on the East Coast think of as pizza, yeah. right? So what is Columbus style? It's thin crust, mm -hmm. it's cut into squares, that's tavern cut or party cut. Yeah. Uh, usually features provolone or provolone mozzarella mix, uh, like our oregano uh, mm -hmm. kind of interfused in there too. Yeah. And we definitely want lots and lots and lots of pepperoni going from crust and to all throughout so you can't see the cheese. Like Love that's the Columbus thing. Yeah. yeah. So that's what it is, mm -hmm. um, it's a basic uh, style. Um, it's got a lot of history and tradition to it. I was just going to ask, tell us a little bit kind of about the history sure. of, of okay. how Columbus style came about. So our fir the first pizzeria by name in Columbus was Romeo's. Mm -hmm. So not the Romeo's chain right. of today, but Romeo's Pizza. And uh, the kind of a bummer about this is the family let the trademark lapse. Oh. And Romeo's picked it up like shortly thereafter. Mm -hmm. um, so it started in December of 1950 mm -hmm. uh, at 5th Avenue and North Star. So kind okay. of that grand view, almost yeah. upper Arlington spot. Two people that founded it were Romeo Suri, mm -hmm. S-I-R-I-J, um, and Jimmy Massey. So most mm -hmm. people have heard of Massey's Pizza. So they started in 1950. Um, the first pizza that they served was very different than what we have today. Uh -huh. It was thicker. Um, and instead of like cheese, um, like covering the whole thing, it was just a sprinkle of Romano cheese on the sauce. So if you wanted mozzarella, you had to ask for that as a topping. Oh, wow. And then okay. they gradually shifted to provolone, uh -huh. they gradually started making it uh, thinner and thinner. And that's kind of the evolution of the style. So the other folks that started about the same time as Jimmy Massey started Pizzeria mm -hmm. uh, on the east side with his brother, Dan, 1951. Uh -huh. um, Tommy Iacono started his Pizzeria mm -hmm. in 1952. Um, Gatto's Pizza started in 1952 mm -hmm. as well, and all these guys started with this slightly different style pizza than what we see today, but over time, between them kind of perfecting things, them working with uh, Richie DiPaolo, uh -huh. who at the time ran DiPaolo uh, Food Service, which basically started as a company that would deliver these ingredients to these pizzerias, because okay. they were so busy, if they didn't have to yeah. pick up stuff, it was a great deal for them. So mm -hmm. we kind of worked with these guys, and together they kind of, by 1955, we definitely had this design, defined Columbus style pizza. So yeah. if you're eating at a place that started in the 50s, 60s, even 70s, you're having Columbus style pizza. Well, that's my next question. Right. Where, where, in your opinion, are some of the best places to yeah. find this Columbus the style pizza? The epitome of Columbus style is, is Massey's, right? Yeah. That's the tradition. That's uh, using old recipes to go back to the 50s. And they have a little bit of cornmeal under, yeah. under yeah. their Yeah, so backstory for that, um, some places, mm -hmm. uh, that's another Columbus trademark. Is that a Columbus trademark, thing? Yeah. But a lot of people have drifted away from okay. it. The reason that cornmeal is on the pizza is originally it would be cooked in pans. Mm -hmm. And the cornmeal made it easier to slide out the okay. pan, right? So uh, some places still do it because it's tradition, but uh -huh. the, the practical reason for cornmeal is basically gone. Oh, that's exciting. Um, yeah. So, Massey's does it. Um, Donato's is, is kind a of little bit it's of... a little bit different than these other places, but uh -huh. it's it's true to style. And Donato's started in 1963. Yeah. Um, Torita's on Cleveland mm -hmm. Avenue is definitely a spot. I'm to try that one. Um, Josie's Pizza in the bottoms. Iacono's Pizza on Kenny Road. Mm -hmm. um, Tommy's Pizza. I mean, yeah. Tommy's resonates with so many people in Columbus or people that graduate from Ohio State. Mm -hmm. um, that's definitely true to Columbus style for sure. So, you know, for someone that's not as familiar or new mm -hmm. to Columbus right. and, and our lovely pizza culture, mm -hmm. are there any other styles of pizza that kind of the Columbus style closer resembles that people um, might be familiar yeah. with? Yeah, so um, 
there some people refer to Midwestern style mm -hmm. or Chicago bar pizza. Ah, okay. So, and that here's the thing with science. So Jimmy Massey grew up in mm -hmm. Chicago. He I may see. have worked at a Chicago pizzeria a little bit mm -hmm. before he came to Columbus. So he may have had some inspiration there. Bar pizza was created in Chicago with one specific purpose, to feed drunk people, <laughs> right? And the reason it's cut into small strips or squares is think of a bar, right? Mm -hmm. If you have these big giant slices, okay, only, yes. the, only the bullies <laughs> get the pizza, right? <laughs> Nobody get, some people get some. So mm -hmm. when you have it small squares, it's easier to share, easier okay. for people to munch on and mm -hmm. basically not fill themselves up before dinner, right? It's almost yeah. like the pizza was pre presented as like an appetizer as your popcorn as ah, a filler, okay. right? So that's Chicago bar style pizza mm -hmm. and that kind of, spread around the Midwest. You don't really find it outside of like this part of the country. Yeah. Uh, St. Louis style pizza has the same type of cut. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so that's, that's some tie-ins to that. Cool. Um, and during the research for this, mm -hmm. there was another Ohio kind of style pizza right. that I ran across, which is the Ohio Valley style pizza, right. which is just kind of this weird beast. So tell us a little bit mm -hmm. more about what what that entails. Yeah. Well, definitely DiCarlo's is uh -huh. your epitome of that. And right? where's DiCarlo's? Uh, there's DiCarlo's in Steubenville. That's mm -hmm. where they started. I think the Columbus ones in the Hilliard type area. Okay. Um, I've kind of lost track. I've been eating a lot of pizza over the last year and a half. Um, but it, it's thicker, mm -hmm. uh, it's rectangular, and it has uh, cheese that's not quite cooked on top mm -hmm. of it. So they put the cheese on after it comes out of the oven, not before. Yeah. So I don't know. That, that ruins it for me. I love yeah. the melty, gooey, tons of yeah, cheese. But absolutely. I guess to each their own. That's the beauty of pizza in Columbus is you can uh, You can find have something. any type that you want. Oh, you know, um, mm -hmm. it's not quite Columbus style, but... A, place that I really want to mention um, mm -hmm. is at Studio 35. Yeah. And I think you can help me mm -hmm. out with the pronunciation. Fibonacci's? Fibonacci's, yes. yeah. So not Columbus style, but a great, great spot. Uh, Studio 35, mm -hmm. a lot of people have a long connection yeah. with that. But this is a real deal Italian style mm -hmm. oven that they have. And some very, it's going to get traditional Neapolitan pizza yeah. there and these great ingredient combinations for sure. They, um, this is pre- coronavirus yeah. shut down but they let me in the kitchen and let me see the oven in action and this thing is amazing yeah like, it's something else huge just break i guess it's brick or kind of this mm -hmm. it's imported from italy and it literally takes like two minutes to yeah, make a pizza. yeah and it comes out bubbly and crispy and amazing it's awesome so they let me try some too and it yeah. was it was great so, so if you need something different um, yeah that's definitely a place it's a good, to go good yeah. substitution if you're looking for something yeah. outside of Columbus yeah good style. veggie and good vegan mm -hmm. options too yeah and they're actually um if you have seen those two kind of little balconies, they're, yeah. they're using one as a garden um, mm -hmm. to, to grow ingredients for the pizzas, yeah. which is pretty cool. So uh, Yeah, I had to mention that somewhere, yeah. right? Awesome. Well, thanks so much for talking yeah, a little pleasure. bit about uh, different styles of pizza. Um, definitely let us know where some of your uh, favorite spots to find that Columbus-style pizza are. And get back to eating pizza. Absolutely. All right.